So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my task now to defend uh, that CME surgery should be performed for right colon tumors. Here are my disclosures. So let's first recap how a proper operation should look like for colorectal cancer. It should be an unblocked resection of the mesentery and the tumor, and it's important to preserve the integrity of the mesocolon or uh, the TME plane in rectal cancer. An adequate lymphadenectomy should be done, and uh, there are surgeons who uh, preach that the no-touch technique is important, although we don't have a lot of evidence for that. So the essential components of complete mesocolic excision are first of all the quality of the section. So it's very important to stay uh, within the embryologic planes, not damaging uh, the integrity of the uh, mesocolon, which should be taken out as a package together with tumor and gut. Um, the Alternative planes are the intramesocolic plane and the muscular propria plane as described by West. And this means that the integrity of the mesocolon is severed and damaged. So the other component is the extent of lymphadenectomy. We know that we have D1 nodes, D2 nodes, and D3 nodes around the central vasculature. Even we have D4 nodes beyond the central uh, vessels. So this is a landmark publication from uh, West, uh, coming from Leeds and Erlangen, and here two patient series were compared, one having CME surgery and the other having conventional surgery, and the huge difference was that the Erlangen group had a better plane of dissection, so a mesocolic uh, plane of dissection, and a much higher yield of lymph nodes. Well, this translated in uh, improved uh, survival in the CME group from Erlangen by 15%, and also even a doubled survival in stage three uh, colonic tumors. So what did we compare? Well, the work of good versus the lesser surgeons. So there's, in my opinion, no debate that we should preserve the integrity of the mesocolic package. But the debate remains with respect to the uh, extent of the central lymph adenectomy. Should it be a D2, a D3, or even a D4 lymph adenectomy? We have to appreciate that the central we go for the lymph nodes, the higher the skill set is required, associated, uh, the procedure is associated with potentially more serious interoperative problems like vascular damage and also. Uh, with higher morbidity and mortality rates, and it remains very questionable whether the uh, incidence of D3 node positivity is clinical significant uh, with respect to the incidence and also the oncologic outcome if we would treat this uh, D3 node positivity by surgery. So how often do we see uh, positivity of these D3 uh, lymph nodes. This is a study from Japan showing up to 30% positive D1s, up to 10% positive D2s, and only 1.5 uh, lymph node positive positivity in the D3 nodes. If you subdivide this uh, according to T stage, then you can see that in the T4, only 3.7%, so the highest T stage. 3.7% had positive central lymph nodes. This has been confirmed by a larger study from Japan with only PT3 and PT4 tumors having D3 colectomy, and only 5% of these patients had central lymph node positivity, so relatively low incidence. This is a slide showing the mortality rates of conventional versus CME D3. And you can appreciate that there is a trend of higher mortality rate in the more extensive operation, even in expert hands, like uh, the, in the Holmberg unit, if you compare that, for instance, with population-based de uh, data from the Netherlands and the UK, lower mortality. Interesting paper from Denmark showing also higher mortality rates, more origin, organ injury, and SMV injury in a CME D3 group.
indicating that there is a higher risk. Of course, the evidence should come from uh, randomized controlled trials. So this is a trial which uh, recently finished the RELARC study. Uh, Short-term results uh, were published. CME plus D3 versus CME plus D2 lymphadenectomy done by expert surgeons with a high annual case load, uh, translating into similar mortality uh, morbidity rates, but again increased vascular injury in the CME D3 and only a very low rate of central lymph node positivity. In gen general practice, what does CME D2 versus CME D3 uh, means? Well, CME D3 can be done by the surgical trainee uh, at a shorter operating time and shorter hospital stay, being done laparoscopic. CME D3 requires uh, an expert surgeon who probably needs a robot to do it laparoscopically, or it should be done open with risk of serious organ injury and higher uh, mortality rates, probably. And whether this translates in a better survival, we don't know at this stage. So, ladies and gentlemen, CME, for sure, there's no debate, but with respect to lymph uh, adenectomy, probably a CME D2 will suffice and will translate in superior oncologic outcome without adding additional risk. I thank you for your attention.